All right, y'all. We are back. We are back just that fast. Getting ready for another backstage show. I'd like to welcome you. My name is Dave James. I am from uh, National Stepping Association as part of the World of Step Alliance. And we are really excited to uh, for our next interview right now. For the Lamplighters, there should be popping in any minute. For those of you that have not been on this before, if you went on just a few minutes ago, uh, you can see, we. if you go back, you will see so many of uh, the really creative performers and competitors that are part of the World of Step competition, now virtual, virtual edition. All right, so we are going to welcome our guest in right now. Let's get you in. Hold on. We should see our very special guest, the Lamplighters. I see. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. What's up? What's going on, sir? What's up? What's up? Let me, let me face this camera real quick. No. Get it right. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. So I, a little low, but I can hear you. Okay. Uh, Question is, can you hear me? I can, I can hear you. You can't hear me? I can. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Dabe James from National Step Association, part of the World of Step Alliance. And I can get a ton of love right out of the gate. Look at that. Yeah. Man. All right. So we know, we know, I already know how this is going to go. <laughs> so why don't you introduce yourself? Let the others know who you are. Okay. Uh, my name is Nicholas Adams. I am uh, the head captain of the Omega Lamp Lighters Light Team. Uh, I'm a junior in high school, and I've been stepping for the last, uh, going on to three years now. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, I can see, like, again, yeah. boy, the love you're getting up there. I haven't seen yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You know, one of our uh, one of our key goals of, you know, the Lamplighters and the Light Team is most definitely showing love and uh, being a family. You know, this is really a brotherhood. I can see my little homie right now, uh, Caden. He keeps saying, let's go, Nick. I see, my, I see one of my moms in there. I see another mom. You know, it's a lot of love, a lot of love. I love it. I love it, man. I love it. So tell me, uh, tell me just a little bit more about yourself. So when, I, when did you start stepping? What, what was like the kickoff for you that, that you said, I got to do this? Okay, okay. So that goes back to probably when I became a lamplighter. I joined the Omega Lamplighters back in 2016. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I joined, you know, I was like the cool kid at, in middle school. So I didn't really think stepping was cool. You know, I thought it was so weird. Like people would jump around clapping and you know, do all these blades and stuff. But uh, I went to a step show, 2016, Family Homecoming uh, Greek Step Show. Wow, he remembered that. Wow, now you know. I, I was blown away. We got to perform, too, and I was just blown away by how much the crowd responded to us. Like, you know, that was my first time ever being, like, in a spot. Like, and I was like, after that, I got to run it. I got to run stepping. And ever since then, we've just been, we just been stepping. You know, I've just, I just been loving it ever since. I love it. My man, he said I was the cool kid back then, you know. I, so you just brought the cool to the team. You just oh, said, I can, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see. I can see. Like I said, by all the love. But definitely by all the love you're getting there. Um, what's your team's mission? I know our, you have a mission. And is, like I said, is most definitely promoting uh, brotherhood. Keep us in shape, you know, taking, the, I guess, quote, unquote, trouble kids out of, you know, bad situations and showing them stepping. For me personally, uh, my experience was only small Tallahassee, but ever since I started stepping, you know, I've been as far as Tennessee and as west as Texas. You know, we were trying. You know, I, you know, our coach was talking about we're gonna get us out there one day to California. So, you know, I'm a junior. I'm telling you to hurry up. I got one more year, but uh, you know, I know stepping has really just uh, it's, it's trying to broaden uh, our view on life. Pretty much, you know, my dreams have grew ever since I became a stepper. Exactly, and I, I I hear I hear that a lot. Um, I know that for many like yourself, they get into it, and then stepping affords them the opportunity to. Play. So, with my team, for example, the first times many of them ever get on a plane is when we're going to competition across. The world. So that's a really good that's a really good thing. Um, I, I really applaud you for just your confidence and what you're bringing. Um, let's 
to a, a little bit of uh, your core. Do you choreograph? I know you do, obviously. But how, what's your process in doing that? Well, actually, I've only made two steps for for my team, and uh, most of our chore choreograph. Oh, sorry, you know, I'm stuttering. Our choreography comes from our uh, step coach, Terrence McCray. Now, shout out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Terrence McCray, Coach T, you know, Cheese, you know, you know, he he probably in here somewhere. But uh, I've noticed because you know I've taken head captain and I was co-captain last year. You know, I've noticed how he makes our steps is he likes to just listen to beats. He will like play a song and then I just be amazed by how quick he says, "All right, let's go. We finna start practice. I got a new step." And we'll learn it just like that. And you can literally step to the song that he made it from. Most because he uh he used a lot of drum beats too. So we have this one uh step called Drums of War. And at first I thought it was the most craziest step ever, learning the individual three parts. <laughs> okay. It sounds amazing. You know, you just be so so just amazed by just like you did this off of three individual drum beats. So you know. Mm -hmm. it, me personally, my my step I made is my favorite. I call it a uh, long day because it was it took really really long to make it for me. Uh, it was it's just kind of a mess of a lot of arm movements because I I love you know good steps where you have good precision Oops. and I like to go loud. So, you know we screaming in it and so you know I just like to bring the intensity and precision. Okay, I like that. Yeah, because those blades and and I'm telling you two things you got two things is that sharpness. And you get those blades, you get those vocals in there. Oh, yeah. That, that does it for the crowd. And I know you got that in a huge. Um, yeah. So, and I know you're clean. I've seen it. It's clean. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, now that um, we haven't been able to be physically in practices and stuff like that, how have you kind of adapted or adjusted? How are you kind of keeping in shape, uh, keeping your stuff? up and like that what's something what, what's some things you're doing well we most definitely like i say you know since we were promoting brotherhood our uh, mentors they check on us a lot so um when you know COVID 19 was not you know messing with the step world we practiced pretty much to me like every single day so you know we're running push-ups planks you know he keeping us in fit mm -hmm. so our coach is challenging us is to go outside run uh you know work out make sure you're keeping your body in shape because when we get back ready to step, you know, we need to be at it full power, ready to go. So me personally, I, you know, I try to run a mile, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm. And other days I work out. Uh, I know one of my um, other co-captains, he works out a lot with weights. And he's running a lot. And uh, shout out to Terrence seeing here too. Uh, and, you know, most of our team, we are, we're real strong runners. So, you know, a lot of us be out there running and stuff. Uh, I don't know if Jalen Ezekiel's in here. Uh, uh, Darrell, you know, we run a lot. So, you know, we're just trying to keep our stamina up. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be real important. I know. Woo, virtually. So are you guys practicing virtually to get uh, in any kind of way? or? Actually, we have not practiced virtually. We have not. I've seen, though, that our uh, junior, our junior lamp lighters, they had a virtual practice, um, I think, a couple of days ago. So I'm finna bother my coach to get ours up because, you know, I, <laughs> I miss my guys. You know, I miss, I miss that. Yeah, no. So, how are you, and how are you guys feeling about uh, being part of the world of step now, competing against all of these teams from literally across the world? I mean, we got them from Thailand, from West Africa, United Kingdom. How are you feeling about that? Um, you know? We feel honored. You know, we we feel honored. One, we feel honored for being able to even step. You know, so many people don't know what stepping is, and stepping is just a beautiful art. You know, we're just honored to be a part of Water Step. And, you know, I'm seeing so many people vote, you know, for us and, and, and uh, every other team. And it's just like, man, I, I'm so happy I can be a part of something, you know, promoting a real good message. So we're just honored to be here. Got you. I, no, I hear you. Uh, um, I know the routine guys submitted. Why don't we talk about that for a bit? Well, uh, tell me about that, the one you submitted for this competition. Okay, so that routine is a part of one of our shows called uh, Steppafella, which is kind of like a play on uh, Cinderella. And, you know, we got a, uh, mm -hmm. so, you know, it's a play on uh, Cinderella. So that that uh, show is just, I mean, that's the step we uh, submitted is just the beginning part of that show. And in um, all the beginning of our shows, we want, like you said, we like to bring the intensity. 
So mm -hmm. our first step is, you know, we're, boom, it's, we, you know, we're excited, we're here, we're loud, you know, we try to pop about you as quick as we can. Mm-hmm. And that, and you definitely did. You yeah. definitely did. I don't care if you're watching it, because I, I was actually watching it really big screen. I was projecting it to the screen. I, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we're going right here. Intensity. When, we're going. when did I get a 3D TV? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Love it. Um, so I know you talked about your your mentor. You talked about your coaches. Who are some of your other influences? Who, who are some other people or teams that you're influenced by, that you like, some style? Well, mm, it's kind of hard for me to say because even though I love stepping, you know, not to toot my own horn, I believe that the light team is the best team out here. You know, I, I look, I look to my coach, my coach and my mentor as my inspiration to be better. You know, we're the Omega Lamplighters, so you know, I look at the Omegas as the, you know their intensity when they march and you know they do their stuff. I look at their things. Now, I do want to shout out to Vita Connection. Now, I love competing against them. Mm -hmm. and, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Competing against them, and also uh, I remember my first step show in uh, Palm Beach, Florida against uh, Dillard High School. That was the first time we ever seen somebody step with hard bottoms because, you know, we used to step with boots. Right, right. So, uh, I want to shout out to <laughs> Dillard. Um, you know, there's, there's tons of teams that I've, you know, congratulated and said, you know, y'all real cool. But, you know, I can't remember all the names. We, we've seen so many teams and been amazed by so many people. It's just crazy. There's so much stuff pouring into every individual practice. It's just, you know, pretty mm -hmm. much everything inspires us from our own drive to other people trying to compete with us. Yeah, yeah, and and and, and uh, that's well deserved. I got to give a shout out to all of the competitors here right now. Um, I I know that uh, you guys submitted this piece here. Personally, just talk about the virtual competition. How do you feel about that? Have you, you been able to watch some of the, the other teams that are out there? I know you've spoken about it from a live standpoint uh, previously, mm -hmm. but what you're seeing now, what are your thoughts? I'm definitely seeing that ain't nobody lacking. No one is taking this this break as a break. Everybody is still working. You know, I'm talking to my I'm talking to my guys in our group chat. You know, saying, hey, you know, yeah, we did our thing, but these people they're doing their things too. You know, people that are stepping by themselves, you know, almost sound as loud as us. You know, telling us that we gotta we gotta pick it up too. So you know, this is just showing that uh, the step road, even though we're not stepping together right now, they're still stepping. It's still going on. So yep. you know, virtually, it's just showing me that. Everybody is working. That's right. Actually, I, I got a brief show on that one because, uh, again, seeing the reach and how far it goes um, and how people are putting in that work, it really just, I've been blown away as well. So that, I, I love to hear that. Love to hear that. Um, so just one, because I'm, I'm just, I'm fascinated by your team and I'm fascinated by like just all the work that you guys do and, and, and how you're doing it. Moving forward, I know everybody really excited back and they're praying. Come on, you know, when is it going to happen? Just when you think it's going to happen, you know, it's like, uh oh, now we got one. Now we got that in the third to worry about. Mm -hmm. But um, what's going to be one of the struggles you think if once we come back? You know what? We know what the, the, the virtual world has brought us, but coming back, what, what do you think we're going to be? Uh, probably one getting organized because, like, now I'm, now I'm really noticing that we have a lot of steppers in America. And, you know, my coach is talking to other coaches trying to get, you know, step shows together. And there are a lot of teams that want to get back on stage. So, you know, Florida, you know, shout out to the North. But I, I got to say, South Stepping is very competitive. And there's a lot of teams down here. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to have to go to somewhere like Orlando to just house all the teams that probably want to get back on the stage. So probably getting organized as quick as possible because – like, you know, going back, everybody is hungry. Everybody is wanting to hit a stage, see some mm -hmm. trucks, take some hardware home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably just, you know, just getting organized is probably going to be the hardest thing, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree with you there. Um, shout out to the world that for being able to, or what clients, to being able to really get all these teams together. Yeah. The NSA, we did our last couple of nationals in Orlando. And I think that's good. Spot, you're right. Um, yeah. uh, we did Daytona and we've done Orlando, and uh, you know, yeah, that's gonna these coming up uh, competitions when we do get back to the base are gonna be intense, yeah. Really. Um, and I love the fact that you guys are so competitive. I heard you give a shout out to the north, 
you know, and from the north, you know, all right, so you know, all right, you know, we be competitive up here too. Don't sleep, but I know. <laughs> hey, 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 look. Before this whole COVID nineteen thing went down, we was trying to uh, compete at the National Youth Step USA, which mm -hmm. is going to be crazy. And oh man, all my coach talked about was them the North teams. They ain't nothing to play with, you know. You know, my team probably gonna hate me for doing this, but shout out to them Raider boys. We, we, I've, I've watched them. I've watched them personally. That's a team I can say that I really have clicked on their videos and watched. Mm. I, I couldn't wait to compete against them. I just wanted to see them live and see if they're really about their stuff. And I know they represent the North strong, and I wanted, I wanted a piece of that. I wanted. <laughs> well, don't worry. You're gonna have a chance. You have a chance. We all come back. You're gonna have a chance. Well, you know, man, I really want to thank you for taking time out. Oh, this has been a fantastic. Fantastic talk with you. But here, I'm gonna give a little uh, chance. So, once tell everybody how they can reach out to you, give your Instagram name. Okay, uh, we'll reach out so, to you. So, I am on the Lamp Lighters 850 page, and that's how, that's how you get to it. Lamp Lighters 850, this is our main social media page. Uh, if you are in like a different, you know, if you're not in Tallahassee, Florida, or you're looking for like uh, Miami or something, just type in Lamp Lighters 305, Lamp Lighters 850, you know, just type in the area code for that uh, specific place you're looking for. And you'll, you know, we'll pop up. Interesting. Interesting. But that's how that's, I know when you go and you do a search, yeah, you have like 904, you have, so that's all falls under you guys here. That's the code? Yes, sir. We are the blueprint. Tallahassee chapter is the blueprint of all the Omega Lamp Lighters. We went from Tallahassee to uh, Jacksonville. You know, we got chapters in Texas. You know, we got one in uh, Naples, Italy. You know, we're expanding everywhere. I love that. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm about to end this, but I need to rewind. You <laughs> wait a second. So tell me, um, you said you've got chapters. You got them in different places. Please, just tell me a little bit about that before I let you go. Okay. That so now we're getting into more of the uh, program and the mentorship. So the Lamp Lotters in whole, we are just a giant mentoring program. You know, the Omegas, uh, well, actually, our founder, uh, Mr. Royal King, founded us on just trying to better – black men you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. our goal is to better the young black man in america so all these chapters we have is just the will of black men trying to improve black young men you know we're just, we're just looking out for the next people that's coming up mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. uh you know yeah that's why that's why we have so many chapters so many people want to get on this wave to better everyone for themselves because even because you know now we have the junior lap ladder you know they're trying to expand too so you know we're starting at even, even at a, a younger age of mentoring so you know kids that are eight nine years old already know how to to tie a tie or fill out a, a um, check so you know the lamp ladder they're spending so much is because everybody wants to mentor somebody and help someone else because with the village you can do the impossible that is right there Truth and I love that. So, uh, give me just a little bit more on the mentorship. So, I love the fact you know, tie a tie, write a check, all those things that no matter how you go through school, you go through everything else, certain things that people just don't teach you. Yeah. Uh, the quorum. Tell me a little bit about the other mentoring program. Like, just give me just a little bit. Like, what what else? What other kind of skills? Because we already know the step is there. So that that goes without saying. So. Well, okay, so besides, you know, let's just like the main adult things they need to teach you, they teach you a lot of uh, character, too. So we do a lot of community service. We, another another mission, I guess you can say, is to say that you need to give back to the community. You know, mm -hmm. give back to the community, the com community will give to you. So, you know, we do uh, this, uh, like, feed the homeless uh, every first Saturday. You know, we uh, do a lot of, you know, Things that we're not getting, we're not receiving nothing back. We're just giving, we're just giving a lot. So that builds on your character and you know your maturity because now that you're being put in these, uh, you know, these higher places, you know, you, you have to represent like a program like this. Like right now, you know, I'm in front of you know 21, 25, you know, people, but in another another place, I would be in front of you know thousands wearing a purple shirt, you know, and then people looking at me with that purple shirt is gonna realize, okay, so you know, I can look to him for these things because I'm getting mentored and those characteristics. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I think that uh, one more time, please shout out your Instagram name. So people can support you guys. And so uh, how can people, your team, I mean, aside from voting for, uh, you know, right now voting for you here, 
for all the steps. So that's a, that's a plus. Give that one more time, please. Uh, the Lamp Lighters 850. Lamp Lighters 850, y'all. Please show them some love. And I guess they can reach out to support you and, uh, and some of the other efforts that you're doing. And I yeah. must say your dedication. Thank you for continuing the grow. Thank you for the trail that you're blazing and the trail that you're leaving behind. Yeah. I really can't appreciate that's a, that's a fantastic thing. Um, I hope that um, I in your success on what you're doing. And, uh, well, well, I really hope to pray that by the time you get to your senior year, that we will be doing face-to-face -face on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to happen. It's oh, going to yeah. happen. Hey, hey, hey. The light team doesn't well, matter. It's definitely going to happen. <laughs> well, again, I say thank you. Um, everybody, thank you. Give them some love. I mean, I got to so, so show love. You get oh, they, they, they showing love right now. There's so many people. I so many names I see. I just seen my godmom again. I see my brother in here. There's so many people in here. You know, that, thank y'all. You know, thank y'all for coming to watch this interview for me. I love all y'all. You know, I'm gonna represent always. After, as you should. I'm telling you, uh, the, the what you're doing is now reflected in that love that they're showing. So uh, it's a great, great, great uh, thing that you're doing. Um, all right, everybody, I want to say, first of all, again, thank you. Everybody, make sure you go cast it, your vote for them. Please check them out. Um, in the meantime, head over. You can vote for all the teams. I know not all teams, but you can vote for your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, at worldofsep.com in virtual competition. Uh, again, I say thank you. I wish you the best. And... You just keep on keeping on. Keep us in, keep us all informed, man. Keep us all informed of what you guys are doing. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you once again for tuning in to uh, the backstage edition of World of Step. There will be more interviews coming up tonight and moving forward. Make sure you go vote, 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 vote. And there's still some time. All the information's online. There's still time to enter in some cases. So until